In 1877, paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh described a new dinosaur. Now, all he had at the time was part of an upper arm bone, a tooth, a couple of vertebrae, not really all that much. And on the basis of those fragmentary pieces, he called this animal Allosaurus, which translates to different lizard, just meaning that it's different from any other dinosaur that had been found. Well, fortunately, uh, Allosaurus is not a rare dinosaur. It wasn't really all that long before other paleontologists and fossil explorers going out into the American West, filled out the rest of the skeleton, created this image of this beautiful animal that's standing over, over me now. This is Allosaurus fragilis. This is the major predator of the Jurassic Morrison Formation, stalking the American West about 150 million years ago. And no site is better for finding Allosaurus in Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry, where over 46 individual skeletons, or parts of those skeletons anyway, have been found. And it really creates this image of um, you know, a Jurassic killer. This was not a dinosaur that kind of waited for whatever carrying was left out on the landscape. This was a dinosaur that went out and hunted and killed prey. And one of the most distinctive ways that we can tell that is by these claws, by these nasty meat hooks that had on its arms. Even though its arms are relatively short, I mean, they're just basically as big as my arms for an animal as big as this. They're still powerful, and they still had these keratinous sheaths that would have extended over their claws that allowed them to dig into prey. I mean, walking uh, outside the quarry, I picked up the back half of one of these things, and uh, even though this looks relatively small, this would have been a claw that was uh, you know, fit into the hand about here. Now, its skull isn't quite as massive or as deep as that of Tyrannosaurus rex. It doesn't quite have the same uh, killing power, bone crushing power to it, but it's still doing something very interesting in that the back of the skull is starting to flare out, starting to flare out and provide more room for muscle attachment. So it has a stronger bite than some of the other uh, predatory dinosaurs that came before it. But it'd be a mistake to think that Allosaurus is all about the jaws. Uh, there'd be heavy uh, musculature in the neck connecting to the back of the head. And what that allowed was that when Allosaurus went after a young sauropod or a juvenile stegosaurus or a camptosaurus or something of that nature, it could basically use its head like a hatchet. You use that neck to really throw its head forward, open that mouth, sink those upper teeth into its prey's body and slam that lower jaw into it. If it didn't catch it, it would at least shear off a large amount of flesh. And if the prey was small enough, if it really was just a mouthful, those teeth were recurved. So that means that there is only one direction that that mouthful could have moved and that's back into the throat. Really all the confirmation you need that you don't want to end up in the mouth of an Allosaurus.